Welcome to the Dreams Inspired Reality Podcast. My name is Tara Darnley, and I'm your host today. We have a special announcement, so get ready. This one is probably the biggest announcement yet. Are you ready? Jim Real, I decided to launch. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? DIR is launching our very first app. Yay! <laughs> we are launching our very first app. I'm super excited because as we grow, I want to create a community that we can have a safe haven to go to, a safe place to go to, to connect and learn from each other and just continue to be dope together. And so, as our Facebook community grew, and I'm like, you know, I always go back to like, what are you really building, right? It's a purpose. And I just felt that, you know, with the, especially with the example a few weeks back where Facebook kind of shut down um, and people were panicking, it just goes back to show that we don't own our own anything. And I wanted to own my own platform, my own community where I can engage with you guys how I want to on my own terms and you guys can really get to see more more amazing things from Dreams Inspired Reality. And I'm going to tell you guys why this was important for me and just take you back a little bit on even Dreams Inspired Reality, like why it was so important to launch, right? When I started my entrepreneurship journey, Um, I know I've talked about a little bit where there really wasn't a lot of resources as there is today. And that was just five, six years ago. There really wasn't a lot of resources as it is today. Um, I'm from Brooklyn, you know, from the hood. And the little bit of resources they gave us in terms of like your local SBA or anything that has to do with entrepreneurship, it really... um, how to put it because it's just changed now today but I don't want to down any organization but it just it wasn't there right it wasn't there I remember reaching out to an organization that was supposed to be helpful for entrepreneurs and I reached out to them the first time someone did pick up the phone and they were like you know we're gonna call you back we're gonna match you with someone we're gonna call you back for the information and my question at the time was how did I form a business like should I go to LLC? How did I figure that out? And they told me they were going to call me back and I never got a call back. And I left another message and I left it at there. I left it at that. And then I went on to use Google, find, found some videos, um, did some research. Cause at the time, like we were bootstrapping, we couldn't afford a lawyer to help us figure those things out. Um, And so we went to Google, went to YouTube and figured it out, like, okay, LLC was the best bet to go with at the time that fit our business. And we went with that. And three years later, three years later, and I'm not exaggerating, three years later, I got a call from this organization. And the call threw me off guard because I'm like, who is this? And I'm like, yes, this is me. And he was like, oh, okay, I'm returning your call. Um, I'm returning your call. This is such and such. I'm returning your call. And, you know, did you still need assistance? Um, And I was like, I'm like, huh? (laughs) Because it was just like, it was just like, whoa, like three years later. And I was like, are you serious? I said, do you have a timestamp on that? Like, the messages that you're retrieving? And she said, well, I just got here. I'm just doing my job. 
and I just saw the message and I'm just, I'm just doing my job. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that was three years ago. And I was like, I was like, wow, because I've, we've had ideas before and they were never executed, but I just thought about who, who else experienced that, that slept on their dream for three years four years, five years, whatever. Like how many times do we allow people to put pauses on our dreams or put our dreams on hold? And that just really crushed me. It just brought back, because I forgot about them. I forgot that I left that message because I really wanted to do the work and I really did the work to get the product on the market. But it just brought back so many memories in terms of like starting up and not having any resources. And I was just like, wow like how many other people call like all the people that she's calling back now how many of them didn't push through because they just stopped at that one no that one person that didn't answer them that one resource that didn't provide them any value how many people stopped there and that really crushed me that really just did something to me and I was like you know what I want to start a community where people can come to, they could get a free resource, they could get information, and they can just, like, all they need really is drive and the will to execute. That's all you need. And if you're in our com- community, you know that, like, all you need is you need drive and you need to have the, you need to have, like, the will and determination to execute your dreams. And I wanted to create that um, environment in a tangible way. Like I wanted a building and I still do. I wanted a community building where we can have that and we can help entrepreneurs, especially inventors come in and they can make their prototype. They can do their prototype. They can get their invention out there and we can nurture those people because I'm going to be real with y'all right now. There's a lot of creatives in the hood. (laughs) There's a lot of geniuses in the hood. Like there's a lot of us and we just don't have a way. We don't know how dope it is. We don't know how dope our ideas are and we don't have anybody to mold our ideas and help us. And without pushing us over or getting knocked off or doing all these horrible things. And because we almost, we almost got there if we weren't like using our brains. Like we had people quote us some insane numbers to help us get to market or you can't do it um you can't do it outside of the u.s and all those naysayers like we had those and so when she gave me that call like i just thought about all those people and i said i want to come i want to create a community like that and then as time grew a year after i i bought when i said that i bought the domain for dreams inspire reality And then a year later, which was last, not last year, yeah, 2018. Um, So 2017, I bought the domain from 2017 and I sat sat on it for a year. And then because I had Darlene and Co and like all these other things going and two babies, I was like, oh, I was going to start a blog (laughs) just to like get free content. And then a friend told me about um, podcasting. And she was like, why don't you podcast? You're good at talking. Just do a podcast and deliver your content that way and grow your podcast and do it that way. And I was like, oh, that's that's dope. Like, I don't have to write. Yes, I just talk. (laughs) And so I started, that's when uh, 2018, I was like, I'm going to start my podcast. I'm not going to delay on it no more. I have the domain. It's a dope name. Like everybody literally always says dreams inspire reality or turn your dreams into reality. Um, So first thing I did was trademark that joint. (laughs) So I went and I trademarked my name and um, I trademarked the name. And then after that, we were like, okay, let's start a podcast. So again, the baby was there and I was like, I can't record with the baby. He doesn't like sleep. He was not Leo, Oh God. Amir did not want to sleep. And so I was like, I'm going to figure it out. So we record early um, middays and we recorded in the nighttime. So thank God our first guests, they were down with those times and we did that. We did it. We did. We worked through it. We, we did the episodes. We did a year worth of content for the first year. So I was like, yes, this is amazing. And I invested a lot into 
starring the podcast. I invested a lot into, you know, my editor, into somebody actually walking me through starting it. Of course, it's really easy nowadays, but at that time, I didn't like have the time to figure it out. And I was like, let me pay somebody to do it. And I paid someone to do it, um, a hefty amount. They helped me do it. And right before we were actually supposed to launch, that person just disappeared. They bailed out, they disappeared. And so I had to figure it out on my own. And I was just like, oh my God, like this is insane. And I just figured it out, got an editor, had to pay her every um, every week to put the content out there. I did my first year, no sponsorship. I didn't ask for sponsorship. I didn't even ask for donation. And some of my listeners actually emailed me and said, oh, you know, you could put up like a link for donations and stuff like that. And I just didn't have the time to even put that up. And so the first year, it was like there was no monetary goal with the IR podcast. I was just like pouring in, having my friends come on, interviewing them with the hope of whoever is listening will get the content, receive it and go out and execute. Because I always met people and they were like, oh, can you be my mentor? And I'm like, I, I can't. So I'll create something that will do it on a larger scale. Like I can mentor everyone with whatever resource I have. Um, and everyone can just listen and take away from it and take what you need to take. And that's what I did. And so today, a year later, I'm able to get sponsorship um, for like booking me for a whole month and things like that. So when you do the work, you know, people will see that and they will applaud it and they'll want to be a part of it. Um, Our downloads keep growing and all those amazing things. And so when the opportunity for me to build the app came, I jumped on it. I was like, okay, I want to really preserve my community that I have. I want to give them an, an amazing experience with DIR to be able to come in. So it's like so many dope stuff, guys. <laughs> like I can't reveal everything, but you'll be able to listen to the podcast from the app. You'll be able to listen to blog. You'll be able to read blog posts from the app. You'll be able to read, um, see exclusive video content that will be created just for you on the app. You'll be able to watch our courses on the app. So we'll create amazing courses based on what you want on the app. You'll be able to purchase from some of my amazing clients that are on Amazon exclusively on the app. So my clients will be listed on the app so you can really support um, amazing black home businesses on Amazon. If most of you guys already shop there already, so you could go exclusively to support them. Uh, what else? Like, I can't give you everything because I got to leave some surprise. <laughs> but it's going to be dope. If you know me, you know I only do dope. And so it's going to be amazing. I'm excited for it. Um, I'm just excited to have something that you somewhere, some a place that you could physically open on your phone because you're on your phone 24-7 anyway. <laughs> and you can access our content. You could access our resource. And this, I hope, is inspiration to anyone that has a dream and you're like, well, it's not where I want it to be yet, or this is not exactly where I want my dream to be, or this is not the plan I have that I want to be executed. Like you can execute your dreams in levels. And this is a level to the bigger goal that I have of having a facility one day. This is just a start. This is just a part of it. And everyone is virtual anyway these days. And so I think this is a great way for me to facilitate this and have somewhere where everyone can come and just be a part of our community from the palms of their hand. And, you know, when God is ready to make that dream a reality for a facility where people can actually come in. And I want to like, I want this facility all over the world. Um, I'm saying here first, exclusive, let's timestamp this, <laughs> but I want to hear first, but I really wanted to practice what I always tell you guys in terms of you don't have to be too big or you don't have to, you know, your company don't have to, your brand doesn't have to be too large to do certain things and Dreams Inspire Reality is a passion company, it's a company that is to really give back to entrepreneurs and 
this is what it is about and i wanted to create a community just for you guys to be able to really experience the brand and be a part of it and continue to grow with us and continue to help each other cultivate and build our dreams so we all can just bring our dreams to reality and help others do the same and inspire others and dare to just dream dare to dream dream big don't dream small dream big but you got to execute hard right <laughs> you got to execute hard so that's it guys that was my special announcement and glad i was able to share a little bit of why we actually started dream this by reality and i hope you'll follow me on this journey and i have another announcement coming up on the next episode but for now i hope you guys follow me on this journey and dream big execute hard until next time bye Are you looking to diversify your sales channels? Well, look no further. Dreams Inspire Reality Consulting can help you from step to step to launch and grow your brand on Amazon, Walmart, and eBay, the top e-commerce platforms in the world. Your ideal customers are searching for you everywhere but your website. Stop making it hard for them. Let us help you diversify your sales channels. Visit us at www.dreamsinspirereality.com to schedule a consultation. Dreams inspire.